question I get asked a lot in my YouTube comments is how do you have 1 million combat power on your Rara, for example, or on your bathroom? Whenever I'm just kind of showing my characters, I wanted to take the time in this video to discuss all the ways to increase combat power, but more importantly, the stat totals, because people are assuming that you're getting a ton of stats with someone with this much combat power. Before we get in this video, if we can get a like on the video, that'd be awesome. Also subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more Exos Heroes content. With that out of the way, let's talk about Rara. I'm gonna go over a lot of the ways you could increase it, but the most impactful way first is going to be unleashed potential because you get a ton of combat power as you start to increase this character as you go through when you're leveling up a character here yes there's gonna be a ton of stats here but you're gonna be forced to upgrade these combat power totals as you can see you get 27,500 per these so 27,500 that's one two every time you see the two swords that's gonna be that so we're at 27,500 twice three four five and six that right there is 165,000 power just from finishing a character with unleashed potential another really big way to increase combat power is going to be core memory so when you have a character that's fully core memory to out that you need the fake core but then also when you have this right here the plus five on each row here that's going to be 30 percent addition to my combat power that's like this is by far the biggest impact overall when it comes to your combat power the amount of effort required for this either takes friends that have invested a lot and gotten a ton of fusions or it would take an absolute crazy amount of pulls yourself to be able to ever get to this point so yes this is by far the biggest increase but for you or for your friends this is going to be the biggest investment so it's like kind of equivalent there that's definitely going to be one of the biggest ways to increase your combat power you might have very similar stats to me before this you might have the five percent but 25 percent more combat power attack than you already have now and does it compare close to what i got and it might just be down to the core memory. You get significantly more combat power per level. I won't know exactly how much combat power, even with literally all these books here, I don't have enough to go from 97 to 98 to give you an idea of just how many resources it takes to start to go up to this point. It is exponential, so whatever in the 80s or low 90s trying to go up, the amount of combat power you're getting then is gonna get even bigger by the time you get up to here. I just don't know how much it is at this point. Another way to increase combat power is going to be your blue fade core, and for this faction, I don't actually have one, but it would be the blue fig core is going to be Iden. When you first get one that's not fused, it's 2% combat power, so that's not much. As you can see here, this is an increased amount. How you get that increased amount is by fusing. And then you got to get lucky on the roll, and then it ranges higher than 2% all the way up to. I am checking my Discord. We actually have infographics here on my Discord when it comes to this in particular. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff there if you want to check that out. Link is in the description. Combat power can all go all the way up to 12.6%. That right there would be pretty massive change. So I would say the core memory is the biggest, but it takes the most amount of effort for either you or for your friends. Also, your high roll on a fused blue fake core would be another massive change to your combat power as well. Then lastly, is going to be these moves here. And when you have a fake core and you're starting to enhance the enhancement and you get higher and higher up, you're going to get more and more combat power. So as you can see here, enhancing this one from 18 to 19 is 3,098 combat power. Power. But if I'm trying to enhance, let's say I'm trying to enhance this guy, the Xeon doesn't have any of them. If I want to enhance them, all I would gain is 184 combat power. See how it just massively spikes as you go higher and higher up on the, the move system when it comes to combat power. That's a really good example of just how exponential it becomes as you go further and further with all these things, whether it be levels, your moves, fusing on your blue fake core, and then lastly, core memory. So that's pretty much it when it comes to this to be able to get super high combat powers. A lot of people just kind of go oh it's just a core memory which is mostly true but at the same time there is a lot of things you can do to increase your combat power slash stats to get to this point where you're at you're pushing like a million combat power per character combat power matters is it's going to help out your clan and then also it really helps the stats for like i would say the biggest benefit for you personally is going to be path to trials being able to push through this content is really dependent on your combat power because you want to get it to easy because easy is going to directly change the stats of these characters and make them significantly easier for you to beat them. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully that answers your question on how I get a million cup of power per character. Be sure to join the Discord if you're looking to talk all things Exos Heroes. And with that, guys, I am out. Peace.